What's a red flag about yourself? I'm pretty much dead inside nowadays. In the past, I used to be dead inside half the time, now it feels like it has been forever since I felt an actual emotion. Every once in a while, I feel a very uncomfortable emotion and it makes me upset for a day or two, but then, I'm back to the same dead inside feeling. Like a part of my soul was ripped from me. At least, like this, I don't really care what people think about me. I still have anxiety at times, but most of the time, I simply deal with it and don't talk about it. Oh I'm very obsessive over people. I believe that is my biggest red flag out of them all. I get too attached, then the weird thoughts come in, then I'll need every second to be spent with the person I'm obsessed over. Etc. That's why I don't really think I would be a great partner for anyone. So yeah screw romance, I'll just go have friends. Multiple just so I won't be fixated only on one person just in case. I mean it is problematic to do when I'm so socially awkward. My self-harm scars from 20 years ago, or at least that's what the recent person I dated said. It might scare some guys because it's seen as heavy trauma and baggage. I've been dealing my trauma for the last decade with therapy. I'd like to think people are not shallow to point it out. I haven't noticed in for a while but when he pointed it out and told me about how it can seem like baggage, it bugged me. I have a lot of energy, until I don't. I'm bipolar. You cannot keep up with me, and you cannot console me when I'm down. Just enjoy the whirlwind moments and chime in whenever you need my positive whirlwind energy, and just leave me alone when I'm down. Just suppress your natural instinct to console and repair my heartaches, there's nothing you can do but hope the medicine works like it should. I have abandonment issues, which at times make me a doormat. I try my best to keep things on an even keel, and will keep my mouth shut about things that people do that bother me. Internalizing people's bullshit isn't healthy, and often will explode in ugly ways. I am working on this, though trying to be more communicative and honest about things even when it feels uncomfortable to me. Never cheated but I kinda have been in a gray zone two times. I moved from my first relationship into my second in 24 hours. From my third to the fourth in a week. Only thing I did was hugging or cuddling my new SO so depends on how you would define cheating I guess. Fourth knew all of it beforehand and still decided to be with me which I'm very glad about because I really like him, a lot. I'm really close to myself. I live by the philosophy if I dislike something it is my problem and I'm not talking about music, I'm talking about attitude, you say something that hurt my feelings? Okay let's just not talk anymore. Discovered I do it too much last week by being silent to my GF after she said some things that hurt, she is a psychologist said it is not good at all. I spent the last 10 years traveling around and living out of backpacks. I now live in a city and have a more stable lifestyle but finding it difficult to buy furniture to furnish my apartment. I think it stems from not wanting to admit that I'm putting down roots and can run off to a new city or country. It's not a horrible red flag but shows major commitment issues. I have undiagnosed PTSD, sexual and childhood trauma. I also have a nasty temper that I have done a lot to keep under wraps for fear of being pushed too hard and seriously hurting either myself or someone else. I also have undiagnosed ADHD autism which I'm looking into. I try my best not to let these factors affect anyone else, but it slips out on occasion. I cheated on someone I loved. I was drunk so was the person I hooked up with. It was one time. There is no excuse. My soul wanted to forgive me but I broke up with him. I was so ashamed and I felt he deserved better. I was already choking on the shame. It would have been even worse if we were together. Haven't dated anyone since. Be warned. It depends on how you look at it, I guess. Maybe some might think me being RO Spectrum is a red flag because I don't love exactly the same as a lot of dramatic people do and don't really get their feelings and decisions. But I also won't accidentally fall in love with someone else no matter how close the friendship is, either. Probably that I can be a procrastinator one moment and an on top of things guy another moment. There is no real in between. Also, I can cook a few things pasta, hot dogs, small stuff like that, but I can't really cook and tend to rely more on takeout or snack food. Been told that's a red flag. I react extremely when someone is upset with me by isolating, crying, going into a depression etc it's not on purpose, as I just really don't like upsetting people. But some view it as manipulation to make them feel bad for me, and that's not at all my goal. I'm just so sensitive lol. I am deeply self-isolating because I tend to go all or nothing with friendships. If I feel someone isn't reciprocating my time and energy or isn't as attached to me as I am to them, I flee out of embarrassment and bitterness and move on to another friendship. 
The cycle repeats. I am deeply self-isolating because I tend to go all or nothing with friendships. If I feel someone isn't reciprocating my time and energy or isn't as attached to me as I am to them, I flee out of embarrassment and bitterness and move on to another friendship. The cycle repeats. I don't have any friends or family. And I've never had a healthy relationship with someone who loved me before. I'm 24 and don't have a college degree. I'm always the one there for me so I don't necessarily like people anymore even though I'm always undeservingly nice to them. I need a lot of reassurance and constantly tie myself in loops thinking about certain situations and scenarios. I actually have OCD which plays a massive part in that but I'm trying not to let it affect my current relationship. Also I have a very small social battery. I'm avoidant as hell and don't feel worthy of love or acceptance. You got to chase me down and practically force me to be in a relationship or friendship with you. Take a wild guess at what kind of people I attract. Yes I'm in therapy. Yes I'm working on it. I'm emotionally unavailable. When I meet new friends or potential partners, I get annoyed and distant when they want to hang out or be around me too much. It's straining and it feels like it's sure trying to care and connect with them. I like being alone, feeling the need to be perfect and ideal, which makes the people around me feel pressure to be the same even though I never put those expectations on them, they just assume it from the expectations I place on myself and it makes me feel shallow, I can fly into a rage or start crying like a bitch just like that. I've had to suppress my emotions for most of my life and now whenever they come out they come out. I'm like a toddler throwing a tantrum and I feel so pathetic for it. I'm nice, but not caring. I'm very civil. But frankly, I don't give a shit about you. About anyone. I really just want to be left alone. Emotionally absent, disconnected and cold. But I have a very nice and friendly face and demeanor. I very, very rarely start a conversation with other people. Even then it's to ask a question I need an answer to. I have a very real distaste for people who tell me what they did at the weekend, or at any time, smiley face. Just stop talking. I find it incredibly hard to let others into my own private world after my first relationship was with an abusive narcissist. Now I'm afraid anyone who wants to know me is planning on using the information to manipulate me later. I cannot let myself fail. Sometimes to the point that I won't even try something new because if I fail it's hard for me to realize people still love me and don't take it that seriously and won't abandon me. So I just don't try. I'm super flaky. I am getting better at saying I'll let you know closer to the day but most of the time, if the day comes and I'm not feeling it, I'm not going. The weather also has a huge impact on me staying in or not, embarrassed smiley face. I go by an alias chosen name. Basically only work, my relatives, and the government use my legal name. I'm not trans, but I had two different stalkers over the years so I stopped using my legal name online and socially. I am very sensitive and will cry. Also in arguments I will sometimes go quiet for minutes not because I am giving silence treatment but because my brain literally goes blank, forgets everything and becomes foggy. I own two cats, I have a Star Wars blanket on my bed, I procrastinate like a mofo, I yell at inanimate objects while love tower, I don't have that many friends left, and I might ghost you if I don't like you. I tend to cheat. I'm not good for relationships because I can love someone but I'll never grow attachment to the other person. The good side is that I'm not a jealous person at all, but I'm a cheater. Well, it's nearly impossible for me to stop drinking after about 3-4 drinks. Then I black out and make awful decisions and ruin relationships. I've had 2 drinks in the past 73 days and no blackouts. I apologize profusely. I think it's because I was raised by abusive parents and had been in several abusive relationships. I'm no longer dating and I'm focusing on my relationship with myself. My anger because it seems like it comes out of nowhere. I actually can just control my anger very well and have a high tolerance to anger inducing things, but once I reach a certain point, I'm very judgmental and critical of others, despite definitely being imperfect and flawed myself. Even down to having been critical of someone's music taste which is entirely personal. Don't say that I won't become that good making electric music or I get angry and punch you in the head I mean that I do get angry from stupid things that people have said say to me. I have been in isolation my entire life. So now, when I'm around people, I'm not used to the chemicals my brain is throwing at me. So I become avoidant and close a vicious circle. I just don't really know what to do with my life. And I'm not even actively trying to figure it out I'm just kinda of rolling with it because it's working and not stressing me out. I want to die. Not suicidal. I just don't care anymore. About anything. I no longer feel joy or happiness. It's like everything is a grey haze and I'm waiting for some color. Quick to anger. 
Not physically violent at all thankfully, but still verbally shouty. But I also procrastinate an incredible amount so I've done nothing to try to rectify it. I'm good at conversing with people, but I don't like to do it. I really cherish my own company. It's when I'm happiest. Very grateful for my wife who understands and loves me. I'm very calculative and am ashamed of how I get what I want cause it's manipulation in all forms. Mentally emotionally. You name it. Can't stop once I lock onto something. Almost 30 never been in a relationship. Have never tried to be in one before now. Not necessarily trying now, but open to it if it made sense and I found the right woman. I judge people based on their past behaviors and how they treat other people. My judgment results in me thinking can I have this person in my life or should I not? I'm boring and don't have much ambition to be great. I don't cram my schedule full of mindless activities for the purpose of proving to others that I have a life. I can be hella petty, I just gotta get my life back, but I'm self aware of it so it rarely happens. Unless I really am willing to fuck up the relationship or end it. I'm materialistic, realist and love money. I'll never sacrifice career money for love and family. I despise optimistic people. They are worst type of navies. I have trust issues and so trust in percentages. If you give me reasons to question the trust I do have for you then it takes a lot to get it back for me. Um I have flags. All pertain to my ADHD and attachment style. Otherwise I am so charming and funny and attractive I can lure any man I want in. Like a siren.